Good morning, this is Charles Kim with Tap Into South Brunswick and Cranberry. We're here at Dayton Toyota, where Governor Chris Christie is supposed to make a transportation address. Today is June 8th, and the governor has just arrived. And he's going to be talking about the Transportation Trust Fund and the, um, the money and the work that that is doing here on 130. So we are bringing it to you live. Make sure you leave your comments and uh, let us know you're here. It's only the second time in several years the governor has actually come to South Brunswick. He was at Coca-Cola a few years back when they uh, opened that plant. But Governor Christie is coming up to the microphone, so we'll see what he has to say. Again, this is live. Tap into South Brunswick and Cranberry. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for uh, being here this morning. Thanks to Dave Napa of Dayton Toyota for hosting us today. I appreciate it very much. And the infrastructure of New Jersey continues to be improved. Uh, transportation, as we know, is extraordinarily important to our economy. And, you know, what we tried to do in the supplemental spending bill that we passed, not to wait to spend money on the, uh, on the infrastructure of this state, until fiscal year 18, but to accelerate it, now that we've been collecting the increased amount of the gas tax, was to try to get a jump start and use these summer months uh, as a time to make sure that infrastructure across the state gets improved and improved quickly. We're standing right here on Route 130, resurfacing bridge repair and safety improvements, like the one we see to our, to my right, your left. Um, it's a four and a half million dollar resurfacing project on Route 130 here in South Brunswick. Uh, and we know that this is making commuters' lives easier and better, safer, um, and it's why we push so hard to get the Transportation Trust Fund done and done in a responsible way. About 35,000 vehicles travel this section of the roadway every day. And making sure that it's paved and paved in a safe way is important for people to get to and from work or whatever appointments they have that day, to do it in a way that is safe for them personally and good for their vehicles. Um, to that end, the percentage of good pavement on our DOG, DOG, NJDOT roads um, have increased to 67% in 2016. When we came into office, um, that percentage was 47%. For the past six years, DOT has resurfaced an average of 664 lane miles each and every year. DOT's work on this particular project encompasses two travel lanes in each direction for just slightly over five miles. Northbound from Cedar Brook and Cranberry to East Arterial Road in South Brunswick, and southbound from Route 32 to just past County Road 522 here in South Brunswick. In Middlesex County alone, in addition to the Route 130 project, <clears throat> there are th four other TTF projects that are going underway right now uh, with about $58.5 million of spending from the supplemental allotment. Trembley Point Connector Road construction, the bridge repair over the Delaware and Raritan Canal, Route 1 congestion relief in South Brunswick, which everybody needs, and improvements to the North Brunswick Rail Station, which uh, we are really looking forward to seeing happen. Overall, six TTF funded capital projects in concept development or design, and an additional 39 DOT capital projects in design or under construction just here in Middlesex County alone. These projects are essential to maintaining um, consistent growth and curbing the expense of people having to keep uh, repairing their cars because of damage that happens to them when the roadway is not um, in good condition. Fact is, this is why we worked so hard to get the TTF replenished and replenished for, for eight years. Uh, the next administration, whoever it is, will not have to worry about the TTF. They'll have, along with the legislature, $2 billion a year in state money and a matching $2 billion a year at least in federal money to be able to work on infrastructure in New Jersey. And it's not just roadways and bridges 
but of course money that can be utilized for our mass transit system as well and capital improvements to New Jersey Transit. So it's important and I think really important to know that one of the only supplemental spending bills I've ever approved in my eight years as governor was this supplemental spending bill of $400 million. That was to utilize the good weather as it began to be able to get this work going. I want to thank the folks behind me. Um, they're all working incredibly hard to get this work done. DOT has done a great job at that. And we're going to continue to do that. We anticipate tomorrow that we'll be submitting our plan to the legislature for the fiscal year 18 uh, TTF spending. Uh, and that will be a full $2 billion of spending from a state perspective. Uh, and so we're working hard with DOT, uh, with my senior staff, to get that project done and get it submitted to the legislature in time for their consideration uh, and passage uh, by our June 30th deadline so that there will be an uninterrupted flow of uh, infrastructure money being spent here in the state from the time we approved the supplemental earlier this spring through to the end of the next fiscal year, which would be June 30th of 2018. And so uh, I want to thank the uh, DOT commissioner, the members of his staff, who are working very, very hard um, to make sure that this money is out the door. Uh, the last thing to remind everyone is projects like this and all the others that are going on around the state help put people to work. They put folks who are working in our construction trades to work to improve the infrastructure. That improves the economy of the state as well. And more importantly, um, it improves the economy of each and every family uh, that is a beneficiary of that job. So um, we look forward to continuing to do this, to point out all across the state, the different places that are the beneficiary of this spending. Uh, and, and I also would point out that you know, the fact is that this couldn't be done without the bipartisan cooperation of the folks in the legislature. Well, there was a lot of uh, talk in, in some limited areas from the people we did. Because I think the people in New Jersey said their priority was to get our infrastructure even better than it is now and to make sure that we do it and pay for it in a way that is responsible uh, for the future and that those funds are available to be able to be spent. Uh, so I thank you all for coming. I get to